okay uh, in this video i would like to explain uh, regarding joist so the main purpose of uh, joist is uh, to take care of the floor and uh, roof loads so horizontal uh, roof loads and floor loads uh, just take care so here we can see the joist okay and uh, so these are the important uh, things you must keep in mind while uh, seeing the specifications of joist so joist is a lightweight uh, structural member it can take care of floor and roof loads and uh, joist is one of the horizontal supporting member that run between walls or beams uh, to support the ceiling or floor so the main uh, thing what you must uh, keep in mind is um, joist possess the high strength to weight ratio this is the uh, thing that makes the difference so it possess the high strength to weight ratio that thing we must keep in mind and uh, so this is the simple image showing the joist so this is called the span so you can see from the uh, left extreme left to extreme right we can see the span length and uh, it is the joist uh, depth and if, here we can see the top chord and here it is the bottom chord and uh, it is the main uh, compression member and uh, this is a simple uh, uh, example of how the joist looks like and uh, th this is how the load distribution we can see the tension and compression and uh, how it looks like and uh, uh, so dif we have different uh, types of joints so the types of joints depends upon the span and the joist depth and also we have different joists like k series lh series d lh series and a joist girder i'll explain uh, one by one uh, in the next slides so the k slider uh, we can have spans up to 60 feet and uh, depth uh, ranges from 8 inches to 30 inches uh, so and uh, designation we can see uh, it's an example showing how the k series looks like 16 stands for depth of joist in inches and K stands for series and uh, 3 stands for section number used to identify and uh, next one is uh, that is the second one is we have is uh, LH series uh, LH series uh, stands for a long span uh, joist so this joist uh, the top chart can be parallel or even pitched and uh, depth varies from 18 inches to 48 inches and the span can be up to 96 feet and third one we have is DLH series uh, stands for deep long uh, span joist and in this joist the top of chart can be parallel or even pitch uh, depth varies from 52 inches to 72 inches and uh, span can be up to 144 feet and uh, fourth one we have is joist gutter and uh, the chart can be welded or bolted and depth varies from 20 inches to 96 inches uh, span can be more than 100 feet so designation can be uh, 29g 7n 5.4k uh, 29g stands for depth in inches 7n stands for number of joist spaces and 5.4k uh, stands for keep load on each panel point and one keep is equal to 100 lbs and these are the ultimate specifications we can uh, see uh, maximum span can be of 60 feet and maximum depth can be of uh, 72 inches and the maximum panel point load uh, it's around 20 kips kips and uh, we, we have one more point joist bearing with beam above 40 feet we have to provide erection holes as per the client standard so if at all the joist bearing beam is above 40 feet we have to provide the erection holes and uh, this is the simple summary of uh, showing different types of joints that is for example if you go for k series uh, depth is around 8 inches to 30 inches and the seating depth is around uh, 2 feet 2 and of inches and bearing in inches is about 4 inches and span feet about 60 feet so in this way we have lh series DLH series and GADA series. So this is a simple uh, summary of showing uh, uh, different uh, joists with this depth, seating depth, bearing in inches and span in feet.